Okay, beautiful people, hello. I'm Lorne. This is my first time attempting a... In a way, it's like an online video. And it's not easy, I can tell you. I want to introduce you today to one concept that... Or one um, practice that I've been doing for the last maybe two and a half or three years. Um, ever since I read this book, The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get this book. You can buy it off the internet for really cheap, like secondhand. Um, for me, it was a game changer. You know, maybe I'll talk. I'll talk a bit more about it another time. But the purpose of today is that I want to introduce you to a con to a practice that this book introduced me to, and it's called morning pages. Basically, every single day, I wake up and first thing in the morning, I write three pages of like freestyle writing. If any of you are in a place, a similar place to me in which I was maybe three, three years ago and everything before that, where you're wondering who am I, what's my purpose, if any of you are at this place, I highly recommend you grab this book, The Artist's Way. At least if you don't do that immediately, you can start writing. And I mean, it's not, it's actually not a pain at all. You just wake up a little bit earlier, as you normally would each day, and then just take the time to, to write, you know. Sometimes, sometimes I don't get to do it in the morning, but usually I can come back and do it in the evening or anything. But as long as you're writing each day three pages, you know, I think you'll grab a huge amount of worth from it. So, cool. So, so basically this practice of morning pages, every single day, wake up, write three pages of writing. So it's really important how we write because basically it's practice every single day to bypass that sensor or the part inside of us that says you shouldn't say that, you shouldn't think that, you shouldn't have done that, why did you do that, you're a bad person, you know, that part that, that is, um, it's quite loud in a lot of us. And this practice has helped me in a, in a huge way to kind of like, in a nice way, kill it. Where three pages, you just write completely what your mind, whatever just comes. Like ideally the faster the better. Shoo, 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 so that you can get, get past that thing that says don't do that, don't, don't you know, like I just said, the sensor inside of all of us. So this is, this is the book that I'm currently working on. Hi. Say hi book. Three pages every day. I use the back of it to work through different exercises or brainstorming or any study that I'm doing or any songs that I'm writing. It all goes in the back. So, for example, set lists, whatever, any work coming up. And then here, for example, King to Fader. This was today's. So three pages of writing today. For me, the benefits are as follows. The benefits. Morning pages. The idea is to write three A4 pages every single day. Um, this will help you highlight any problems that you might have. And problems are great because basically they allow us to expand and evolve. We never stay in a problem for very long. We are always, always changing. So it allows us to to, sorry for the little spiritual lesson. So it allows us to, to look at our problems in a, in a more objective way rather than freaking out. It allows us to focus upon what it is that we truly want. So you might write something that you're, oh, I didn't even realize that I wanted that, but that's great because it's, it's true, you know. Um, it allows us to remove the mind clutter from our brains that stops us being able to enjoy and live our lives freely. Like, freedom is, a, is like, it's all in our own minds, you know. So this helps a lot with mental freedom. Um, what else? I don't know. I, actually, it's helped immensely my creativity as well. My my art. I'm a I'm a musician. I'm a creator. I studied jazz back in university, and this is actually for me. It's probably one of the best things is that. Being able to bypass that sensor in my brain has allowed me to, when I'm making music, connect way more deeply to, to what it is that I'm trying to say. 
I can now I can freestyle like lyrics, melody, hooks, verses, everything like off the top of my head without much difficulty at all. Like when I'm when I'm tuned in, yeah. And I and I swear this has helped so much. These books, these pages. So these are a few books that I've done over the past I think like year and a half since I left Cambodia to move to Germany, all filled with stories and it's very cool, but now I don't know what to do with them, we can think about that later. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, it allows us to be more free and more creative in our own lives, to not judge ourselves so hardly, to, oh god, can't even stop, basically just buy a book and start writing. Hello ladies and gentlemen, how to write morning pages. Number one, grab a pen. Number two, grab a book, preferably with empty pages. Number three, find an empty page. Number four, start. I like to start with the date. It's a nice way to break the ice. Today is Quinta Feira. Make the table rattle. Yes. Quinta Feira, desde o que? Qual é o ano? Desde o 5. 15th of February. Okay. So, then, basically, you just start writing. Doesn't really matter what. If you want, you can write down your dreams. If you want, you can write down your fears. If you want, you can write down that really stupid thing that the mailman said yesterday. Bastard. You can write down anything at all. If you don't know what to write, you can just write, I am bored, I am bored, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to write, I am bored, I am bored. 4,000 times. Anything you want, anything you desire at all, it is yours. Let's have a look, what have I got today? I love Abraham Hicks. Thank you so much, Abraham. Thank you so much, God. Hiya, Shannon. Paramahansa Yogananda. Sri Yukta Swarji. Lahiri Masasaya. Babaji. Mamaji. Thank you so much for putting teachers such as these in our world. Thank you so, so much. It's not always so cheesy and positive. A lot of the time it's like, I'm scared of the dark. What else have we got? I love Aitor. Oh. God. I'm sitting in the sun next to the bus. It's glorious. It's not always so positive. But anyway, whatever. You can write anything that you want. Anything your heart desires. And the beautiful thing is that it's all okay. Because you are okay as you are. You are perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. And the only person that disagrees with you that's any of, of any importance is yourself. And if you don't think you're perfect, that's just how you're feeling right now. You can use the pages to pull yourself back up into reality, which is the fact that you are glorious exactly as you are. So, I also just want to make something clear about what it was that I was literally just saying back then in the past. We are two beings. We human beings are two beings. One of which is this temporary physical shell that we manifest into from seemingly nothing for a very, very short amount of time. Now this physical being, which is our bodies, which is our mind, which is the stuff that allows us to step back and say, holy shit, I'm conscious and something is going on. That part, that part of us is one part. And that one part of us will never, never finish reaching its dreams and its goals. Because that part of us is here to evolve. Which means that once you get that raise that you want, once you get that job that you want, once you make the album that you want, that's like me. <laughs> once you get there, it will never finish. It will never be good enough. It never is, and it's never supposed to. Do you understand? 
You will never be pretty enough. You will never be skinny enough. I'm too skinny. You will never be smart enough. You know, it will never, it will never cease. As soon as you get to where you want to be now, it'll be time to move on. Your higher self will be calling you to evolution. And it always is until the moment that you die, which is the ultimate evolution in a way. Yeah. So basically, man, our whole lives are spent looking at that part. How boring. Because that part of us is depressed, it whines, it's never good enough, we never like ourselves for that. Bloody, bloody hell. The, uh, so that's one part of us. The other side of us, which is what I'm talking about when I'm telling you that you are fucking perfect. Sorry kids and Nana, sorry about that. When I'm telling you that you are perfect, I'm referring to the other part of you. The part of you that came from source. The bigger part of you, which is connected to everything. So when all those like hippie spiritual people say that you're connected to everything, that we are all connected, it's not, it's not some hippie spiritual shit. It, it literally is the reality of our entire universe. That's how it works. We have come from a higher place, manifested temporarily into these physical bodies, but they're not, you know, this, this is so temporary and it's always changing and everything that you see and that we can scientifically analyze with our eyes and with our senses is always changing. It will never stay the same. But you, that, that, <laughs> the fact that you exist, the fact that from pure energy, two human bodies merge to create the magic that is you, that's a miracle. The fact that you are here today watching this, that's a fucking miracle. The fact that you can wake up from a night of who knows what happens. No one, like, you know, man, there is magic happening all of the time. And everything is magic. And you are magic. And it doesn't matter what you do. Or, you know, we're not human doings. We're human beings. You know, we've heard this before. And for me, really, it is, it's the key to my own joy and my own peace within a life in which is not completely fulfilled because it never will be. The only thing that has ever been able to make me happy is the connection to the knowingness that everything is okay. Everything is okay. And exactly as I am right now, cold and, you know, not rich, like exactly as I am right now, I'm okay. And so are you. That's it. That's what I mean when I'm when I'm saying that you're perfect, you know. And it's, it ain't no fucking hippie shit. Like, it's the way it is. You're a miracle. And you being here and breathing, breathing. Man, that's enough. Just by just by existing, you've earned your place. Now you gotta choose. What are you gonna do with this opportunity that you've been given? Are you gonna make the world a better place? I'm not talking about the world out there. I'm talking about the world in front of you 